we win the World Series. But before then, when you got when you came over here to Minnesota in 1987. Yeah. I'm here. But can you turn up your mics? You guys are hard to hear in back. You want us to turn it up or yeah. off? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Just give me a minute and I'll say uh. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm gonna turn yours off. That's why I didn't turn it up. I'm gonna turn yours off and turn ours up, okay? Go ahead, Warren, here, you take it. Is that better? Is that better? See, I'm real loud. I got the big loud. Go ahead, Warren. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, I turned yours off. And oh, you turned me off, right? Can you guys hear better back there now or no? Okay, don't forget the trivia question uh, as we move on. How many players are on a major league roster? If you see Sarah Fisher in here somewhere, she's got a piece of paper that you can answer the question, get an opportunity to win a Joe Lauer jersey. You also get an opportunity to go to a baseball game with me on August 1st, uh, Monday afternoon. I think it's a Monday afternoon. But Juan, let's get back to Juan Darren here. Juan, you played a pivotal role on the championship season in 1987. What was it like coming over from the Detroit Tigers? Well, when I come in from Detroit, I think uh, the more nice. Uh, I go to San Francisco Giants first in 86. And I have a pretty good room in there. And I have a closer and the middle of the league where started. When I come to Minnesota, the first thing they say, they have a, I'm going to be a starter in the middle, and sometimes I'm going to be closer. And, and they said they have a put a good, good thing in, in there. And I think that they, they have a good play that year because everybody wants right. to play. And, and the season is going more and more than everybody knows what it is good. And especially on you, my dear. Well, thank you. You know, one, and the, one of the things that, that's a staple that Juan Berenguer had here was the fact that right. uh, well. after you struck out a batter, you had this little routine that you did. Why? I, I was just wondering, when did you start doing that? And I'm glad that I never faced you and you did it against me. Well, I started uh, when I faced at Detroit for the time. Because uh, when I played for Detroit, I used to try to help somebody. I point to the scoreboard. I got to find something out for Detroit. <laughs> so when I try to help somebody in Detroit, and I kind of make it join and point to the dog out and make it sure that I got it. You got them. And, and Juan, here's something. How many people out there, uh, Josh, I want to say hi to Josh, Josh Saunders, and uh, you know what? <laughs> no wonder. Man, I got so many calls today, it's all coming together right now, because I'm, I'm seeing people out here in the crowd. When I look around, Josh Saunders is here, and, and Chris is sitting back there, and uh, your boy Cedric sitting with you over there, and, and I'm, I'm thinking of all these people that called me today just to say hello out of the blue. And again, I just want to say thank you guys again for coming. Uh, my Bible study group is here. What a surprise. My team is here. Um, man, I couldn't ask for a better 50th birthday. And if there's a... Oh, the Yules are here. Uh, I'm the, Sarah, you must have called everybody. Uh, I guess her mic is off right now, so I'll just... Go ahead and turn it off. But Sarah Fisher called everybody for my 50th birthday, and I really, I can't thank you guys, you players, you guys should be practicing right now. Lord knows you need it. Uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Young and Bill Goodman, could you please stand up? One of these two guys are coaches of the Apple Valley American Legion team. Can you please stand up? No, come on, please stand up. Stand all the way up and stay up for me. Please give them a round of applause. Um, you know, hey Bruce, I just wanted to ask you, you know you're sitting at the Bible study table right there. We don't need prayers yet, okay? We'll be all right. Yesterday was just a fluke, okay, fellas? It was just a fluke. Uh, matter of fact, Juan, I think some of these guys probably think that they can hit you. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> You know, you fellas, you know, when we talked about uh, yesterday and yesterday's game, just an indication, and, and you know how Tom Kelly used to always say, uh, when, when, when another player on the opposing team did something that we didn't like, he would always say, we'll take care of it. When yesterday's game, we're playing the championship game over in, uh, 
Um, excuse me, where are we at? Yeah, Forest Lake. See, I'm turning 50. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Uh, you have a second thing to go. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's not right. That's coming from a young guy sitting in the front row, right? A little older than 22, 23, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, there was a kid at second base one, and when the pitcher was taking his signals from the catcher, he was doing this. Now, as a major league player, if you see a kid that's on second base and, you know, you go through the signs and all that, the guy was going like this. He was giving signals to the back. Can you just tell us what you may have done if that would have happened? Well, the first thing and I see somebody try to give a sign to the hitter, the first picture is going onto the hat. And the hat of the heart is so and so. Try to respect the baseball and I'm playing the right game. Right? Uh, the first pitch that might have been somewhere like oh, right in here. It is close. Close, close. Yes, it was been close. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that happened in our game yesterday, and, you know, like Tom Kelly used to say sometimes, we'll get him next time. Next time. Now, Tom Kelly may have said, we'll get him next time, but what would you have said, Juan? Well, you know, when I used to pitch it, I, I, I take care of my problem, the, the, the players. Uh, so somebody knocking down one of my players, the first thing I come in, I knock him down somebody right away. I don't want to weigh second pitch or third pitch. I want to throw the first pitch right away. It's you know, happening right now. He's going to get out of my way right away, that pitch. Now, one. That's what it is. Yeah, you take care of it right now. Right now. Okay, I remember in the playoffs, and uh, in 1987, obviously, we were playing Detroit. You had played for the Detroit Tigers. We go there. You're having a good time. Oh yeah, I have to enjoy it. I'll see you winning by that time. Yes. You you strike out there, guys, and you do the old. Can you give us that? Can you show us what you did? Wani had this little oh, this little routine that he did. This, this little routine that he did. But that led to something. And Wani, after this, I'll let you go. I know you had a long day of work. But Lloyd had this little routine where he would clap his hands and, and kind of not show up to hit her, but he showed emotions. It led to what we called a video. And my players, I don't know if they've ever seen this, but Juan and I were in a video called the Baron Gear Boogie Boogie. Okay? And I tried to get that video today to show it on the internet and show it up here. But I couldn't find it anywhere, okay? I couldn't find it anywhere because I was not going to embarrass myself as I see now in front of this many people. <laughs> you remember that video, Wally? I have a lot of fun. So I remember Tom Kelly said the next day, I'm so tired. He said, why are you tired? I said, I still party. Yeah. <laughs> we did this video at Prince's studio out at Paisley Palace after the... It was, it was after the World Series, and it was called the Bear Gear Boogie. So if anybody wants to see the Bear Gear Boogie and see Juan and I at our very best as we dance home the World Series. Oh, wait a minute, don't tell me you guys got it. Or, okay. Go on the internet and look up the Bear Gear Boogie. You too, but I think I do have it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think we have it. James, do we have it? <laughs> This is Sarah's son, James. Um, Sarah, you don't have to break your boogie, right? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, it's already on. I didn't turn it off. Go ahead. Um, I thought you guys could just show us. No, we oh, were. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. That's a treat for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm 50, he's 56. We're past the dancing stages. What we, did you say? We can do the slow dance. We can, oh, yeah. we can do the slow dance. My son's here. Stop it. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Wani, I, I thank you very much for coming out here. Um, give Juan Baron here a nice round of applause for coming.